to absolute value really quick. So this is a long lesson. Um, you can pause this if you want. This I'm gonna go through this pretty quickly though as well because I want you to I want you to take time to look through these examples yourself. Okay, the absolute value. Okay, it simply means it's distance from zero. Okay, so it's the distance between the number and zero. So everyone looks at it. I'm just going to go ahead and go to my notes really quick. Everyone likes to look at absolute value and just blow it off and be like, this one's so easy because all I do is no matter what it says, I just make it positive. Okay, so what's the absolute value of negative 5? Well, oop, excuse me, boop, boop. The absolute value of negative 5, well, that's just 5. And what's the absolute value of 2? Well, that's just 2. Okay, and try not to just blow this off and quickly get your answer. I want you to think about this, okay? So the here's 0, and then I'm going to use different color here. So negative 2, let's plot that. 1, 2. Actually, let's go all the way to 5 on both sides. So we have negative 1 negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, and over here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, now let's think about this. If I'm just talking about distance, okay, I'm looking at negative 2. So right here, negative 2. So here it is. How far is it from 0? 1, 2, right? So the distance is 2. And that's what we get right there. Negative 5 is right here. What is its distance from 0? Well, its distance from 0 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it gets 5. 2 is right here. What's its distance from 0? Well, it is 1, 2 away from 0, which makes sense. But it's just, it's more, it, it, when you're dealing with distance, you think about absolute values, okay? So let's let's think about it like this. Let's say at zero is your house. That is a beautiful house. You know, I love to draw. It's amazing. It's more of a TP with a door, but there you go. All right, so there's your house, okay? Let's say due east, due east, okay, is your school. And let's say, okay, schools are always square. They look like this. And they have a chimney. And, well, kids, these are kids. Kids everywhere and windows. And that is a beautiful school. Okay, so your school. <laughs> I have to have fun here, guys. I'm, I'm getting cabin fever, which means I'm getting bored sitting at home too much. Okay, we need a door there. Okay. All right, so there's all the kids. Uh, so anyway, your school is, oh, let's say 50 miles this way, right? Now, if, if we're saying that this is point zero, right, then if we say due west, this is west, and that is a terrible line. If you're saying west over here, we've got the, um, the, the, the park, and parks all have what ferris wheels so this is the park we got ferris wheel maybe the carnival we got a ferris wheel we've got a uh we've got some swings oh, i'm getting i'm getting better and better we got some swings okay so this is the park and the park is 30 miles there that looks about 40. 40 miles okay so here's my question is this negative 40 miles away better yet if I drive to school and it's 50 miles when I come back to school am I going 50 miles away or am I going negative is it negative 50 miles back home no so that's why with distance we have to deal with absolute values Okay, so I'm showing you these pictures so you can kind of think of it. Okay, the distance between your house and the park is not negative 40 miles. It is 40 miles. So no matter how you how you uh, um, make your map, 
whether it's or how you think about it, the distances can never be negative, okay? You can never go negative distance. So that's just a kind of a weird way of thinking about the number line. But when you're looking at your number line, realize that there are negative numbers left of zero. All of the numbers left of zero are negative. But as soon as someone says distance, 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 cannot be negative. Therefore, absolute values. Okay? Alright, let's see. Let's go back and make sure. I really want you guys to look through this. I've said this like five times, but I want you to look through this, so I'm done. Okay? I, I just want you to think about what is... So, so when it says compare 2 and the absolute value of 5, it is basically telling you, so let's see if I can zoom in without messing it up. It, compare 2 and the absolute value of negative 5. So what it's saying is compare the number 2 and the distance between 0 and negative 5. That's what it's saying, okay? Don't, don't overthink it. It is literally saying compare the number 2. It does not have an uh, absolute value, so it's not talking about distance. Compare 2 and the distance between 0 and negative 5. Well, what's the distance between 0 and negative 5? It is 5. So really, it's telling you compare 2 and 5, and which is greater. And it shows you here, obviously, 5 is greater than 2. Um, yeah, so I think you've got this. So I'm going to leave you guys to this. I'll have another lesson probably tomorrow that will get into the next section, which... I'm trying to remember what it was over. Oh, this book and I are just going round and round. The coordinate plane, yay. X and Y values, only this time we're going to learn how they work when you go to the negative side of it. Um, so, yeah, I'll talk to you about that next time. Have a good day.